Don't you want to come do my face so I can take a picture and I can use your ring light too? And then I can be like, welcome to my new professional Facebook picture. Hey everyone, it's Candace of Candace of Beauty and welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I recreated kind of like my new everyday go-to makeup look, then keep watching. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna prime my face with the Vitamin Enrich Face Base from Bobbi Brown. It's super thick and emollient and it's a wonderful way to prep your skin before applying makeup. I already did my brows off camera. I will link a video on how I do my brows below, but now I am now going in with the NARS um, Radiant All Day Foundation. I think that's what it's called. And I am just going to stipple this into the face with a Real Techniques foundation brush. It's not my perfect color right now, but give me a break. We've been in the house for a year. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Caramel. I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose cause I like a little pinch. And then I'm gonna go under my eyes as well, but you'll see I'm very intentional and deliberate where I place it. I do not go too far out past the tail of my brow. Um, I see people dragging their concealer all the way like to their hairline. And that's just a very drag way of doing your makeup and it's not necessary. You're taking it personal, I'm joking. Oh, now I'm not joking, bitch. So I am very deliberate where I place it because I wanna create an oval shape to my face. So that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna use this Real Techniques, I think it's like a powder setting brush, but I like to use this brush to blend out my highlighter and other products on the face. One, because it is synthetic, so it's good for cream or liquid, and I can really just control where I where I blend out the products. Same way I was intentional and deliberate on where I place the product, I'm intentional and deliberate on where I blend it out. I do go over my lid just to kind of neutralize my little, little bit because I feel like they've been looking a little dark lately. And then I'm slightly going to blend that out on my nose. Going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I love using this powder because it's very finely milled. I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm lightly going to press the powder under my eye and set where I place concealer. I'm gonna go over my lid and my brow as well because anytime we use a cream or a liquid, we wanna set with a powder so that it doesn't move. The natural oils in your face mixed with the cream and the oil in the products, it's like a slip and slide party and then it'll move. All right, using that same brush again, I'm gonna go into the CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer in Ebony Bronze, and I'm going to add some dimension to the face, slightly contour my face. You'll see that I'm doing like a more smirk motion and not a suck face motion. I'll do a whole nother video on why I do that later. And no, I don't go into my forehead because look, I don't have a forehead. Same brush, same product. I'm going down the sides of my nose because we love a little bit of a pinch. I'm now gonna take a uh, same product using a fluffy, fluffy blending brush, and I am going to run that into my crease. More depth and dimension to the face. And I like using bronzer for all of my contouring and even as my transition shade, just because I think it brings continuity to the face and it's not too many different colors. So then when you get to blending everything out, it's not muddy later. It's like everything flows and it looks natural. And I think it's, the best way to have a more natural looking face, especially if you're going for a no makeup makeup look. I'm gonna take that same brush, same color, and I'm gonna run that under my eye because I feel like makeup's like math. What you did one side, you do the other. All right, Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I'm going to take this dark chocolate color and I am going to focus that in my outer V, just creating a little bit of smoke. The key when you're doing smoky eyes, it's a lot of blending. So after I lay down the color, I'm gonna go back in with my first brush and I'm gonna blend out just slightly, just buff those edges just to make sure it's smooth. I'm gonna go back into the palette with a flat shader brush and I'm gonna take this like nice champagne-y color and with a flat shader brush, I'm going to start packing that onto the lid. 
So I'm packing here because I want the color to lay down and stick. I don't, and I want it to be vibrant. I want better color payoff, so I'm gonna pack it down as opposed to just buffing and blending out as I would with something else. So the tools you use and the way you use them, they're important. So you don't wanna just like half-ass sweep it over your lid because then there's not gonna be any color payout. And you'll see, I kinda went in a little bit more on that. So I'm gonna have to go back and pick up a little bit more color and blend it out. Using a pencil brush, I'm gonna go in with that dark brown that we used in the outer V, and I'm gonna run that on my lower lash line because I love a smoky lower lash line. Next, I'm going to apply blush using the Stelazi Barbados palette. I love this palette, one of my best pandemic purchases. And I'm gonna go in with the pretty coral color because peachy and coral blushes just look amazing on brown skin. But I apply it before I set with this Laura Mercier Candle Glow. It's actually a finishing powder, but I love using it because it just diffuses everything, gives you a nice candle glow, just nice soft luminosity, but it blends everything out and then your blush ends up being diffused and looks kind of like you were just like, like blush from within. Then I'm gonna go in with mascara. I'm using the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Rebel Mascara. And I love that the wand is so tiny, which is great for bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna go on the top as well. I always do my bottom lashes first so I don't mess up my um, makeup. Now I am using the Eyelore, um, it's a liner and lash adhesive. And I don't use a lot of liner, but I got this recently and I like it. So you just put that on and then literally I just pop a lash on top. These are some Kiss lashes from the beauty supply store. Um, I'll put the exact ones in the description below, but they're equivalent to like Demi Wispies. Now I'm gonna go with my MAC Fix Plus spray just to diffuse everything out so I don't look open casket sharp. And now we're gonna put on a lip. I'm gonna line my lip using the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Los Angeles. Absolutely one of my favorites. These pencils do what needs to be done, period. So I'm just going to line my lip. Then I'm gonna go in with this Milani lip paint. A little pinky nude situation here. And then I'm gonna top it with a discontinued gloss. Sorry guys. And this is the final look. Kind of like my new everyday go-to. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you recreate it. As always, thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.